Welcome to a short tutorial on supply and demand curves in Excel. Uh, this will pick up on some of the things that we've already done with creating a supply curve and creating a demand curve, but this time we're going to put it together uh, to have two curves on the same graph. So the first thing we need to do is go get our results, and you'll find on our class Moodle page um, the supply and demand either for first hour or for third hour. So I'm going to go to the third hour results here. And we need, of course, to download this into Excel. So file, download as Microsoft Excel. And open. Now the first step that I would do, um, you saw this before, it, it actually works a little better if we copy um, our prices which are up at the top and paste them at the bottom. Uh, because we're going to total out each of these rows and we of course want our quantities, so our total quantities to be on the x-axis and our prices to be on the y-axis. And by default Excel will put, um, will put whatever's on top on the x-axis. So when we highlight and, and create our graph we want our quantities above our prices. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what our quantities are. And here again, we're going to use that count if. So we're going to count how many times in this $5 range here um, somebody said yes, they would do it for $5. Excuse me. Uh, so we say equals count if, um, parenthesis, and then we choose our range. And that was our B2 to B26, and then comma. And our criteria is if somebody said yes and we do that um, inside quotation marks because we're checking for text then we close our parentheses hit enter and it looks like three at five dollars now I can click and drag that formula over on the bottom right hand corner of my cell so again I'm grabbing um, just this bottom right hand corner so it gives me this black plus and then I drag that over and Excel realizes then that um, this row must be C2 to C26 that I'm checking D2 to D26 etc. Now like I said before I, I'm going to highlight my data and I'm going to create my graph. Um, because I have two zeros at the end there I think I'm going to leave one of them off. but. Um, if I grab all that data and go and insert my scatter plot, the one with smooth lines, it gives me the two curves, but it also gives me this line from one to the other connecting it, and it looks kind of funny. And so what I really need to do is just do one curve at, the, at a time. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is the demand curve. So, or sorry, the, the um, supply curve. So I highlight from 5 to 30 my, my prices and my quantities. I go to insert, scatter plot with smooth lines, and that gives me my supply curve, my upward sloping supply curve. It looks good. Um, then I am going to come up here to select data. I could also right click on my graph and go to select data. Both ways it gets me to the same spot. First thing I want to do is edit my series one because I want to call that supply. And then I need to actually add a second curve. In this case I'm going to be adding my uh, demand curve. So I'll call it demand. The x values for this, um, I'm going to actually have to cancel this a second and uh, move my graph out of the way. Try that again. Now select data. So edit, call supply. So my demand, my x values, again, my x is always my quantities. So I'm going to choose my quantities. And then my y values, and I intentionally again left that zero off again because there were um, two of them and it'll look kind of funny. My y values are my prices, so that's these 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. If I click OK, click OK again, it should show on my graph, slide back over here, my supply curve and my demand curve. 
and I even got my hypothetical uh, equilibrium, my price clearing, um, my market clearing price here at somewhere around oh probably seven or eight dollars with about six or seven people demanding at that price. Last thing I've got to do is on my layout I have to put in a chart title. Um, I'm going to call it I don't know, supply and demand for cleaning. And then I also should put on my axis titles. My x axis, of course, is quantity, and my y axis is always price. So that's it. Now I've got a supply and demand curve for cleaning. I can save this. If you're in my class, you can save this and upload it on Moodle um, where you found the assignment for supply and demand. And that's it. Thank you.